Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video we have Act 7, Chapter 1, Quest Number 6, Bosses. And we only included Ice Phoenix and Spider Witch, because if we included Gwen Period as well, the video would be too long. And don't worry, I will have a link in the description below of the video that we take down Gwen Period. So yeah, let's start off with Ice Phoenix. And you know, she has Cold Snap when the fight is starting like Iceman and the gnomes that she has are cold fusion so whenever cold snap or frostbite expires or is purified by either champion the defender gains 33% of the bar of power over 6 seconds so yeah if you don't get hit or if you have a cold snap immune you don't have to worry about that about that node but the next node is a bit annoying so it is encroaching stun and every 20 seconds, the attacker becomes stunned for 3 seconds unless they are performing a special 1 or special 2 when the timer expires. So you have to time it perfectly. As you can see, we choose DSP2 and we didn't get stunned. So yeah, that's what you have to watch out. Watch out that timer and then use your SP1 or SP2. And also, the attacker gains 60% more combat power rate while below one bar of power and suffers 60% combat power rate while above. So, you know, not the hardest nodes. Yeah, she is already down. But moving on to the next fight, we have Spider Witch. And you know, she is Scarlet Witch and Spider Gwen. And she has the animations of Spider Gwen, but her special attacks are Scarlet Witches. So the nodes that she has are first off Backblast, so the attacker's critical damage is doubled. However, if damage from a critical hit exceeds 5% of the defender's max health, or the attacker lands 4 or more guaranteed crits throughout the fight, the attacker suffers from an indefinite, no sorry, not indefinite, an incinerate debuff dealing damage equal to the last crit of five over five seconds so you know with abomination we don't really do more than five percent per hit so we don't really care about that node and the next node is staggering beauty so while close to the defender the attacker gains a stagger debuff every three seconds which nullifies our next buff and staying far away from the defender causes these staggers to gradually fall off so you know it's like long distance relationship except it's not with weakness it's with stagger so yeah not too bad but also she has special chaos inversion so whenever she activates special attacks our controls are inverted so you have to work to dexterity and special attack backwards and yeah that's a bit annoying because yeah, even if you block it, it's gonna do some damage. But yeah, luckily it's not unblockable unless you push her to her SP2 and she gets 10 prowess and then all of her specials are unblockable. So I recommend you don't push her to her SP2 because yeah, it's gonna be tough. And as you can see, I am blocking some specials as well. I can't dexterity all of them because yeah, it's confusing yeah don't forget she also has the evade from spider gwen's ability and yeah you really have to parry and then use it. like three hit combos or if you bring a, an evade counter it's good as well but i brought abomination because he, he is immune to poison and yeah she is almost down now we got hit there but that's okay we have a lot of health we are getting some back from willpower from the poisons and yeah now we want to parry use our special two and she is at eight percent and yeah she is almost down one hit with that and she's down so yeah thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one.